What's good boys, ZG Shaggy here back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to convert GTA 5 Bless to Bless. Now, if you don't know what that is, is uh, America, our version of GTA 5 is Bless and every other version is Bless. And basically, most mod menus that you'll find for GTA 5 and a lot of other games are made for Bless. And the reason that is, to my knowledge, is that it's easier to make mod menus or mods for blessed copies and it's a little bit more stable i could be completely wrong but nine out of ten times it's where you'll find mod menus for now a lot of mod menus nowadays they're made for bless and bless but i know a, a lot of them like the really good mod menus are made for bless so i'm just going to show you guys how to convert it from bless to bless it's pretty easy i'm gonna leave all the links in the description that you're going to need to do this so let's just jump right into it. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go in the description and download these two files. These are what you're going to need. Now, if you're a modder or you're on Hen or custom firmware, you already have WinRAR. It's what you need to open up all the mods that you download. If you don't, I'll leave that link down in the description as well. So go ahead, download WinRAR. Once you have that, you can go ahead and download these two files right here. And these files are going to hold the other files that we need to actually convert it. Now you are going to need Multiman and if you're a modder you're on custom firmware or hen I'm pretty sure you already have Multiman but if you don't I'm gonna leave a link in the description and it's gonna bring you to Brewology. This is the only website you guys should go to to get homebrew apps. It's been around forever since jailbreaking has been a thing. If you're on hen you're gonna want the unofficial Multiman 4.84 hen version. You don't want any other version this is the one you want if you're on custom firmware go ahead and grab whichever one you want like I said you should already have it if you're on custom firmware so go ahead download that once you have it you can throw it onto the root of your USB and I'll show you how to install it because I have to install it as well so once when you have these two folders right here what you're gonna want to do is open them now once when you open them there's gonna be two separate ones and the bless files you're gonna have just one simple folder what you're gonna to want to do is you're going to want to copy this folder right onto the root of your USB I already have it on the root of my USB it's right here um, and then once you can do that you don't need this one anymore then the second thing that you're going to, want to do is you're gonna to want to open this one now this is gonna contain all the updates that you're going to need for the game I'm gonna show you how to install them as well so what you're going to want to do is pull up your USB right here and as you can see I have all of them on my USB. You're just going to highlight every single one of them and you're going to drag them onto the root of your USB. It should only take a couple seconds. It's not too big. Well it, it is a big file. It's about 3 gigs. It didn't take me that long. It could vary but at most it's only going to take you a couple minutes to copy. Once when you do that we're done with the PC side of everything I'm pretty sure so now we could just jump over to the PS3 and I'll show you what to do from there one thing you have to do before you jump into multi-man is you have to delete all of your game data for GTA 5 you have to do this to make sure that the game works so go into your uh, game save utility whatever it's called and delete whatever you have for GTA 5 this is just to make sure that everything installs properly. Now it's going to delete your game save data, but you obviously probably don't care about that. And then you're going to go into game data utility and delete both of these things. I'm not going to delete them simply because I forgot to show this part of the video before I converted it from bless or from bless to bless. So I'm going back and recording this. So this is technically me from the future telling you what to do. So go ahead and do that and I'll see you guys on Multiman once when you delete. Now that we're on our PS3, the first thing you guys are going to want to do is go over to Multiman or install it if you haven't. I know I told you I'd show you uh, me installing it, but I installed it and the recording messed up a couple times. The audio is kind of fucked, so I had to re-record a few times, so I already have it installed and I'm just going to skip the installing it just to save me some time. But we're going to go over to File Manager and then we're going to open PS3 Root. This is where all of our files are going to be. And one window, we're going to open up our USB, which is dev underscore USB. 
and then we're going to open a second window and that is going to be our hard drive portion i i always open up two windows it just makes things a little bit easier so you know you don't get confused on what file you left off on and this that the other so go ahead and open up two two um different windows one your usb the other one your hdd z your hdd zero which is your hard drive and we're going to go into the folder called games the big all caps games not game we're going to go into games and right there we're going to see our gta 5 copy and our other games um then what you're going to do is i'm pretty sure you're go going to go into the ps3 game folder but first we're going to copy over the ps3 disc.sfb straight in that folder it's pretty self-explanatory right there we just copy it over and to copy it you're going to hit circle copy then go over circle paste and then we're going to go into our ps3 game folder and our ps3 game folder is where we're going to go into the the first one it's the lick it's the lick dir folder and in there we're going to copy and paste the lick.dat file from our usb onto our hard drive once when we did that we're done with that portion then we're going to go back to the root where we see uh grand theft auto game the lic dir the trophy the usdir and right there is where we're going to copy the pram.sfo file from our usb to our gta 5 copy and once when you've copied all of those files over we're done transferring files onto our hard drive it's this is really simple the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the name of our gta copy this is like one crucial step we have to do for it to work it's really simple but what you're going to do is you're going to hit circle on the gta copy on your hard drive the one that we're trying to convert and we're going to hit rename now it's pretty easy to rename it simply because you have the folder on your USB that says the bless and then whatever uh, numbers are after it so we're just gonna go ahead and hit rename and once when you hit rename just hit L1 and delete all the numbers and every letter up to BL and in there this is where we're gonna put uh, ES and then whatever numbers follow can't remember what numbers are following it but I'll leave them linked in the description as well just in case you know you forget or it makes it a little bit easier but one thing to note is when you hit enter it's going to give you a space like right after that uh, that last number delete that space and hit uh, enter again we want it to look we want to say bless the numbers and then that little dash next to it no spaces we want to look exactly like we did before just different numbers and letters but other than that it's pretty simple it's pretty easy the next thing we're going to do is install all the updates I'm going to show you how to install them and installing the updates is the same thing as installing multi man so I'm going to cut it right here and I'll see you guys when I'm installing the updates now that we're back on our PlayStation's XMB menu you're going to want to go up to package manager and once you select package manager go down to install package files and go to standard here you're going to see all the updates that we have to install there's 22 of them I know it's kind of a lot but trust me it's so much faster to install them this way versus doing it through the game because then you have to wait for the actual like other files for the game to install when you launch it but trust me if you install them one by one and do it correctly you're not gonna have any problems with the game so just go ahead and install them one by one. I'm going to cut the video here just to make it a little bit quicker. And I'll see you guys once when they're done installing. Once when you've installed all the updates for the game, you can go ahead and launch it. Now this is where you're going to have to do the initial install of the game files. This is just because you've deleted everything for the game. And your PS3 thinks that it's a brand new game that you've never played before. So go ahead and do the initial install of the game. That honestly is going to be the longest part. But at the same time, it's going to be the easiest part because now all you have to do is sit back and wait for the game to actually launch. That part's going to take like 15 minutes. Like I said, it's the longest part of this whole tutorial. It's just waiting for those files to install. But once when they install, you'll see that you're at the prologue like I am right now. And that's it. Honestly, it's one of the easiest things you could do. It can seem pretty overwhelming and complicated. 
but like I've said before, if you just follow the steps step by step and you do exactly what I do in order, you'll be perfectly fine. The game will run smoothly. It'll run like it's a fresh copy of GTA. Now you'll be able to install all the mod menus you want for Bless. Your GTA 5 is now a Bless copy. So tomorrow I'm going to be uploading a video on how to install mod menus for GTA 5. And I'll have a, a mod, I think it's a mod loader for GTA 5 for Hen. So if you guys need a mod loader or a mod menu for GTA 5 on Hen, just wait till tomorrow's video and I'll have a link for you guys. But other than that, that's it for this video and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.